County are getting help from above to spot the ongoing toxic red algae bloom. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck spent the day today with crews as they work fast to clean up dead fish before it reaches our shores. Greg Novak is a third generation shrimper. My dad did it, his father did it. When red tide snatched away business, he got to work scooping up dead fish. They gave us a chance to keep going, make a living and help at the same time, which has really saved us. Novak is part of a 40 person team working on 25 vessels throughout Pinellas County in an effort to keep fish from washing up on shore. Shrimp boats like this are helping with the cleanup. So far, they've cleaned up 1,300 tons of red tide debris. That's the weight of 930 standard size cars. Pinellas County is using a helicopter to spot the red tide blooms. Then they direct crews on boats to the worst locations. I think we're getting ahead. Yesterday, I was a little, little, little skeptical because we got hit pretty good, but uh, we're back ahead of it again today. The bay mostly clean Tuesday, but county crews had to add rakes to the beaches south of Indian Shores, where dead fish started washing up. I can't control Mother Nature, but I can control how I clean it up. FWC is snapping this photo showing the red tide bloom 10 miles off Pinellas County's coast. We've been moving all, all week in different places, just trying to find uh, the worst of it. That's where you come in. Pinellas County recently launched a new reporting tool that you can use to alert them to fish kills. We've got all the equipment, but we can't be everywhere and see everything, and the public can. So the more they report, the quicker we respond. With onshore winds expected to bring more dead fish to our coastline later this week, local leaders say it will take a community effort to stay ahead of the toxic bloom. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.